whenever we report a measurement, there's always some uncertainty associated with it. So for example, if I tell you that I drive eight miles to work, it's not exactly eight miles. It's not eight miles to a thousand decimal places. Um, what I mean is that it's approximately eight miles. So um, for example, it could be 8.2 or it could be 7.8. And I'm really not sure. Um, I know that it's about eight, but I don't know exactly what it is. Um, so how I might choose to report this number is I might say that it is 8.0 plus or minus 0 0.3 miles. Um, and what that means is that I'm pretty confident that it is within the range from 7.7 .7 to 8.3. If someone did a better job or I measured it a different way, like maybe I consulted Google Maps and got a more precise measurement, um, and it told me that it was 8.2 miles, I would not be surprised at all. That seems perfectly consistent with how far that I thought it was. If on the other hand, I consulted Google Maps and it told me that it was actually 8.5 miles, I would be really surprised. That is inconsistent with the measurement that I have made by driving there many, many times. Okay, so um, it means that if I had a more precise measurement that was within this range, I would agree with it. If it was outside that range, I would question it. Okay, so um, even with no measuring device at all, you can probably make reasonable estimates of some things. So as an example, I looked at my desk that I'm working at and without any sort of measuring device at all, just eyeballing it, I decided that I think my desk is probably about 1.5 um, plus or minus 0 0.3 meters long. So um, I feel pretty confident that it is more than 1.2 meters, less than 1.8 meters, but I don't really know. It could be anywhere in that range. Um, and by being honest about saying, well, I think there's a 0.3 meter uncertainty on it, this becomes in some sense a useful measurement. So um, you may not know exactly what my desk looks like, but you have a pretty good idea of what size it is. Okay, so then I got out an actual tape measure and measured it. And when I measured it with the tape measure, I found that it was 1.523 plus or minus 0 0.001 meters, okay? so. Um, with the tape measure, I can measure it to a millimeter and be pretty confident about that. Um, now, there's still an uncertainty on it because even with the tape measure, I say, well, I mean, it, the edges are slightly rounded and maybe it depends a little bit on what I'm counting or how I line it up. Um, I have some you know, amount of uncertainty in the tape measure. Maybe the tape measure is you know, cheaply produced or something and isn't exactly correct. So I came up with this uncertainty um, for that measurement. And what you'll notice is that they are consistent. So I happen to be really close. I didn't expect to be within two centimeters for my um, eyeballing a guess, but that was just by luck. Um, if it had come out to be 1.7 meters or 1.4 meters, um, I think that that would have been just as likely as having me happen to guess it really, really close. And notice that just because my original um, estimate agrees with the true value really, really closely, you shouldn't assume that my actual measurement was actually better than it was. Um, I, don't, I didn't go back and update my estimate of uncertainty once I saw the true value, Like this was what I, actual, what I agreed to for my uncertainty. This was what I stated and that is what the uncertainty on that measurement was. Okay, so um, all measurements have uncertainty. It's totally unavoidable and there are a lot of sources of uncertainty. Okay, so the one that's typically most obvious and that students often want to latch onto is the limitations of the device. So for example, if your meter stick goes down to millimeters, then you can't measure much more precisely than a millimeter. So um, that is one source of uncertainty that is hard to avoid. Um, but there could be other sorts of limitations as well. Like maybe it's wobbly, maybe you don't trust it to be completely accurate. Um, maybe there are other sorts of things that go in there. Um, another thing could be um, if, for example, um, you're trying to measure an object that's moving, or maybe there's airflow in the room, or maybe the table um, moves a little bit as you are working on it. Those could be things that increase the amount of uncertainty beyond just the smallest um, marking on your measuring device. Another one is perspective. So uh, depending on the tool you're using, it might be um, impossible to get directly overhead or perhaps you just didn't get directly overhead when you were doing the measurement um, or perhaps you can't get um, close enough to the measurement and you have to uh, you know, estimate what you're seeing from a distance and that could increase your uncertainty. That may not be your fault. That may just be due to the, the, um, the apparatus and the procedure that you're following. And so you should just be honest about your uncertainties and, and just account for that. Um, another thing that goes into it is the skill of the user. So an example of this is um, Scientists from like, let's say the 1950s got really, really good at estimating um, tenths of the smallest division. Um, you could, you know, pr with pretty good confidence, be able to um, estimate to a higher degree than um, what your measuring device would do. And that's just a matter of practice. You know, you can learn to do that. Sometimes it's not really that useful to do it, but sometimes it is. Or perhaps um, two different people using the same measuring device might get slightly different answers because one is just using it better. They know what they're doing and they're good at lining things up and so on. So um, again, that's not the end of the world. You can still do good science even if you're not extremely skilled at doing some of these things. You just have to be honest about your uncertainties. Um, and there could be any number of other things that are interfering. Um, and what I really want you to do, um, especially in this class, but also as you go on in life, is really honestly account for these um, sources of uncertainty. Try to think of all the things that could go wrong. And if they did go wrong, how big of a deal would it be? Like, just guess a number. And really, this is, this is pretty subjective. So you are making a subjective determination um, when you come up with these numbers. 
Um, and it's really important that, that you get comfortable doing that. Um, there's no you know, procedure for coming up with what your uncertainty is. It um, involves your judgment. Two different people doing the exact same thing, they come up with different uncertainties. Um, but I think that it is important that you get good at estimating these. If you're underestimating your uncertainty, then you're going to have measurements that are wrong. Um, if you're overestimating your uncertainty, your measurement might not be wrong, but it's going to not be very interesting if you've got you know 50% uncertainty on it. And so um, this is a skill that you know takes some practice to get good at. Um, and again, it's it's okay to overestimate. Um, you want to make sure that you are actually confident that the true value is within the range that you say. That's the that's the key. Um, and so if you report a small uncertainty, um, you know if you say for instance that um, you are pretty sure that something is 72.3 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeters. What you're saying is that you are extremely confident that the true value is between 72.2 and 72.4. If someone measured the same thing as got 72.5, you would be confident saying, that's not right, I measured it, and it's definitely between 72.2 and 72.4. That's what you're saying when you make um, an uncertainty statement. And so if you're not that confident, you should increase your uncertainty to reflect that. Um, I encourage you when you're doing uncertainties to be contrary. Try to think of everything that could possibly go wrong. Some of them may not be important, but like that's for you to determine. Um, try to think of the things that actually will um, limit how confident you are in the size of your measurement.